there's not a defined meaning or image of what art is and so you can actually really expand on that in ways in which actually is meaningful to you. My name is Robert Michael Young, I'm an artist, an artefact maker and also I'm a cultural mentor in high schools and stuff like that. I'm a Gunai Gundich Jamara Yorta Yorta and Wiradjuri man. My mum's Wiradjuri, she's from uh, up on the Murrumbidgee River in Narandra. And my dad, uh, his, his ancestors come from Portland, Gippsland and Sheffield. So it was probably about six years ago when I was working in a high school um, and working with some boys from Central Australia and the Top End. And we did a little mural together and it was quite, uh, quite an eye-opening thing for me that I was like, oh, I actually have a bit of an artistic talent. I've always been quite well colour coordinated <laughs> and know how to make some nice colours. So it was like, all right, how do you put a story to that or how do you just bring in my own type of flair and techniques. Some of my work is very reminiscent of a couple of my uncles because that's the type of work, the very pre precision work, but also has a bit of flair and a bit of creativity and abstract, a bit like my dad's, but he, he's only started painting earlier this year. This painting is actually um, great-grandfather Pondy. And this is actually the story of my great-grandfather, Tommy Johnson and my grandmother. And as my grandmother shares the story, you can trace the lines and the veins that line the stomach of the Pondy. I'm, I'm really blessed to have such a strong lineage and, and knowing where that story and those histories come from, because a lot of people haven't had that opportunity or the, they're passing down a story. So on my dad's side, um, their family was actually one of the first families back in Gertrude Street in Fitzroy after they started moving Aboriginal families off the mission. And the, our connection to Gertrude Street, we have five generations. Why I believe it's important for our next generation to be connected to not only their culture but their identity and what culture means is because there's so many young people out there that actually don't have the opportunity or know how to make a boomerang or know how to make certain things that uh, just build up their culture and keep it alive because I think if we lose it for this next generation then it's going to be lost forever. When I go into the high schools or the school programs or even in big corporates, um, I just talk to them as if we're sitting around the table having a meal together or talk to them as, as if we've we're on the same level with it, especially for when it's kids, because teachers say, how did you engage with them so well? It's like, oh, I just talk to them, not at them. We look at kids acting up and lashing out as a, as a sign of attention. I believe it is a, an opportunity trying to just make themselves known and heard. Catching a fire is that everyone has a fire in their spirit that once you acknowledge or realize that it is burning bright, people that shine bright like you get brighter and brighter and brighter.